how many seconds does it take to make a first impression? How many seconds? At two seconds, at three seconds, but now do I see four, four, I'm lit now. At four, do I see five? Five at the back, do I see six before we go? At six with a nod. And seven seconds, if you like, seven at the back now. First, second, third, and final call, you're all done, silent, and finish. Sold. It was the 24th of September, 1966. AFL or VFL back then, grand final day. Barry Broom picks up the ball on the half-forward flank and he kicks a mongrel punt and is going for a goal, point, goal, point. One behind, but known as a point if you're not from Victoria. <laughs> the Mighty Saints won the grand final and beat Collingwood. Come on, Saints supporters, yay. If you want to have an impact with your business, with your clients, you need to start with a big Bang. If you don't think communication is the most powerful tool in the planet, on the planet, in the world, I'm going to prove you wrong. Winston Churchill. We will fight them on the beaches and we'll never, never, never give in. He changed the course of the world and how we live today by using the power of voice communication over the wireless, better known as the radio for the younger ones in the room. This is a study completed by Duarte, Inc. If you are using high amounts of statistical data, so I do a lot of work with IBM and EY, and you don't think they have a mountain of stats. When you combine it with a story, the memory recall of those statistics and the information is not two times, not three times, but 22 times greater when you add a story. Business story becomes your strategic weapon in every single presentation. When people told an individual story about individuals, not a client, not a company, not a brand, about a person, an individual, where we have a connection with a character in a story, oxytocin levels increased as well. Business stories is a leadership tool. Because of this, clearly schooling wasn't, wasn't a priority for me. So year 11 were the best two years of my life. <laughs> and that was it. That was the end of my education in regards to school. The great news is that this skill set of communication and presentation skills, and more importantly of storytelling, is a learnt skill. Case studies are research and data around individual cases that they present as part of their evidence to justify what they're doing. They're not stories. Stories about people, where we have a connection with people. It's irrelevant what your background is. It's irrelevant what your upbringing is. It's irrelevant what your education is. It's irrelevant what your ethnicity is. It's irrelevant what your street smarts are. What we do here is a learnt skill. There is a study in neuroscience where they've actually monitored brain patterns of the storyteller and the story listener. And what happens when you tell a compelling story is that the same parts of the brain light up at exactly the same moment as in the listener. Extremely intelligent people. You have a great deal of knowledge and wealth of experience. But sometimes you have too much knowledge and when you get to present and speak, one on one on one to many, to a client, sometimes we just go Bleh. So as leaders, as people within organisations, we take people on a journey, we take them on a venture. You want people to follow you as visionary leaders. That's the biggest mistake I see in entrepreneurial businesses today. They are doing the same presentation over and over and over again, rather than curating the information to the audience. If you're not telling stories, start telling stories now. Stories will change your life in every single presentation. And we need to give it all out. You need to curate your information. You need to curate it down to really short, sharp, palatable information that your audience wants. In a networking scenario, how often are you asked this question? So what do you do? And fumble their way through this one key question. I want you to record it. Then I want you to watch it back without the volume. Are you influencing me without words? Then I want you to turn it over and just listen. The second lesson that I learnt 
It's not about you. It's not about you. And but we have been given a gift, the gift of communication, the gift to be able to share our messages, the gift to make a difference. So stop playing small. Live your vision because communication really can change your destination. Thank you. Yeah.